In this video, I'll take you to uh, the computer screen and show you how online application is free for parents and grandparent PR program. For this, you will have to first get invite for the parents and grandparents program. So if you haven't got the invite, you can still watch the video. You can have all the documents ready. Whenever you're lucky to get the invite, you know what to do. And I try to give as many as logical reasoning as possible with all the resources which are available online. And when I did my PR, I found the IRCC website to be very, very transparent and asking straightforward question. All you have to do is you have to provide them with substantial detail and make it easy for you and for the IRCC to go with the process. So without much talking, let me take you to the computer screen. For parent and grandparent PR program, you will get an email from IRCC just like this. And in this email, you have this link. I will leave the link in the description. Once you click here, you come to this portal where you can choose the language, English or French. And once you come down, you will have to create a username and password. If you already have, you can log in. But in most cases, you'll have to create a new username and password. Okay. As you can see, this portal is supported on Chrome, Firefox, Edge and Safari browser. So once you create your username and password, that is your email and password, you enter the password and then confirm the password. Make sure that it has minimum eight character and whatever instruction is given, you will see a right tick when everything is complete and then you can go and accept and create account. So once you click on create account, you get a verification code on your email ID and that verification code you enter here. If you don't get it, resend or change your email ID. Once you create this, you get this message. Now this portal, you come and enter your username and password. And once you enter your username and password, click sign in. So on this page, okay, uh, this is the page where you can submit your permanent resident application. So now down here, you have the application process for permanent residence. Click here, start new app. And then here you have to complete the form. And once you come down here, it will be family category under which you're applying. It will be parents and grandparents. And then application name you can give any name continue. Your profile page, you will choose the preferred language of correspondence, either English or French. Okay, I have chosen English. Then when it comes to the family name, given name, date of birth, this will be straight out of the passport of the applicant. Now in this case, the applicant is either your father or your mother or grandparents whoever it is their name will come and uh, you see the name will be entered date of birth will be entered in the correct format and sometimes the family name doesn't exist in some of the individuals case all you have to do is enter x x x x x okay when there is no family name otherwise just write as it is it is in the past this should help then comes the mailing address here the PO box is not mandatory so is apartment street number and as it is entered in the document which you will be submitting in most uh, of the cases it is the passport the same way the address is written just make an entry it's straightforward there's no confusion here if the residential address is different then you choose no and enter the detail if not you keep it yes and then the spouse partner or dependent file that will get Get free net. Click here, add dependent. Now fill this house or partner dependent detail. Here add spouse or dependent information. Is the dependent accompanying you? Your response yes or no. I have selected yes here. And then relationship to principal applicant. Here is a drop down. Choose whichever is appropriate and go and read this. In case you have any question, do comment. Uh, I will respond to that. And uh, selected spouse, then the family name, given name, date of birth, as it is given in the passport. Same thing gets entered here, making sure when we submit the passport as the document, 
it matches. If the name has changed uh, or something, as we proceed with the video, you will get to know how to do that. Once this is done, save. So you see here, um, this detail has come, save and continue. So this is where the actual application form starts. Okay. Uh, you have to see these are the forms which will have to be filled. Let me just go down and see here. These are the forms. Okay. See here. Right now it shows in in progress. You can come and edit anytime in case you feel that there is some correction required. And then once you come down, see here, there are download uh, form. We will go one by one. And then there are application form. We will see what all are applicable here. What are the supporting documents for uh, the immigration program and how the upload will happen. If there are any additional supporting documents, some cases you want to give some additional information how that supporting document gets add, added, all those things we will talk about as we proceed. Then there is a fee payment and declaration. So let's go one by one. First, the IMM00, go to edit. So on this page, you can see here, since it's going to take little time, don't worry in case you have to exit at any point. All you have to do is make sure you save till the time where you have filled in everything and you can resume that again. I'll show you later. So that's what this instruction also, you know, says. And before you start, have some of the documents in hand. Once you go through this video, you will know what those documents are. Let's continue. And here, whatever was filled, the correspondence detail is here. Interview, the language. Here it is. I'm selecting English. In case you want to choose any other language, you can choose that. Okay. In case parents are not comfortable speaking in English. And you can also do a interpreter test. Here I'm saying no. Select the option what you want to choose. Come down. Province and territory this is where you live so i'm selecting ontario and city as mississauga i select mississauga and then once that is done save and continue personal detail what was filled earlier the same thing comes here have you ever used any other name example nickname median name alias the answer is no here if you have yes then additional detail will be asked what those details here you say whatever the option is i select no and in case of the parent and grandparent the uci number is not there so i'm leaving this blank and come down here physical characteristic sex you choose eye color if you're not very sure just pick whichever is the closest one speak to parent and check whichever is the closest okay and height in centimeters whatever that is you enter that and then the birthday information is already filled here based on what was entered earlier place of birth you enter the place of birth and country once this is done come down citizenship you select from the drop down and country again you select the drop down here i have selected india and then current country of residence you select from the drop down india status is citizen so choose whatever is in your case with your parent this is the drop then previous country of resident during the past five years have you lived in any other country other than your country of citizenship or your current country of residence indicate above for more than six months in my case the response is no if it is yes then you have to answer country what the immigration status is okay this is the drop down and you fill the start date and the end date of detail. And if it is more than one country, then you fill by clicking add another. Here I am choosing no. And then marital relationship and status. The current marital status get shown in case you want to go and change. Okay. In case sometimes the status changes. So make sure you're choosing the most appropriate here. I leave it at married. And here this is the date of marriage. Okay. You see provide the date on which you were married or entered into common law. So enter that date. Okay. So once you enter the date, family name, given name, this was already filled. And then next question is, have you previously been married or in a common law relationship? The answer here is no. In case it is yes for you or your parent, select that and then you will be asked some more questions. So once this is done, save and continue Call contact information the primary telephone number as i said wherever it is asterisk it is important 
and has to be entered. You can choose the option. Here I've chosen other and then type of uh, contact. There's this drop down. I chose cellular, whichever is appropriate you choose that. Then country code here I've entered India country code and the number two. Okay, so once that is done, alternate telephone number, I've kept a uh, Canada number and that entry is made. Once you come down, fax, I have kept blank in case you want to enter that. And then do you want us to contact using email address for this account? I am choosing yes. It becomes easy to have everything communicated on email. You can choose the option, whatever it is, and then click save and continue. Passport or a travel document, it has to be a valid document. What it means, let me show you when you click yes here, your passport detail have to be entered as it is shown in your passport. Passport public travel document number. So if it is alphanumeric in your passport, once you open, you will be able to see how that is written and exactly you make that entry. And then country of issue, India issue date, for example, this is the issue date and this is the expiry. So everything as it is given in the passport gets checked and entered. Now you see here, we are submitting the application and after submission also, this expiry date is much beyond it's almost having four years of cushion which is a good one. If you see that the passport is very near to the expiry because this process is going to take little time, it is a good idea to get a renewed passport. Um, once you renew, if you're going for 10 years validity, you would see that if it is 2024, it will be valid till 2024. So it's a good cushion to have. This tip you can, you know, give it a thought. And once you enter this, you can go and click save and continue. Now, for example, let me go back and say I don't have a passport. Okay. In that case, the answer would be no. Once I select no and I come to national identity document again, for example, uh, in India, people get Aadhaar card. And Aadhaar card is a 12 digit uh, identification number that can be entered in the national identification document, this uh, serial number 5. And again, that would have country of issue, issue date and expiry date. For example, the Aadhaar card don't have an expiry date or you have any other document where the expiry date is not mentioned. So what you need to do is just you have to enter 9999 and enter for the month 12 and then you can enter any date. So that makes it a valid document. In case there is no expiry date written, make sure you enter a year as 9999 followed by month and day and that will make a document valid. This is one tip you can consider. So entering details what were there and then save and continue. As I said, for the national identification document, you can choose the option. If you say yes, like I showed about other, the document number, country of issue, issue date and expiry date, all this have to be filled and these are mandatory fields. So if there is no expiry date, you can just make a mention of 9999 and then month, maximum month is 12 months. So enter 12 and date you can enter any date and save. This will be valid. So here I'm saying no in case you don't want to uh, show or give the national identity document then you know go and continue. Passport has all the information and if you're comfortable sharing your details like Aadhaar then you can choose yes fill the detail otherwise choose no it is up to you. Save and continue. For the education and occupation select the education from this drop down, whichever is the closest one, I have chosen master's degree and then the number of years for the education in total. So you can check with your parent and then make an entry. If parents had schooling till 12th standard, in some cases schooling earlier were only till 11th standard and then uh, degree or engineering of four years and then master's accordingly you calculate and make an entry here. And then occupation, what is the current occupation in case they are retired make an entry as retired if they're working whatever the occupation is make that entry and uh, intended occupation here i have shown for someone who is retired and wants to come and live a retired life dream gets made as so once this is done save and continue then comes the language detail from the drop down choose the language okay so i've chosen the language here and then are you able to communicate in english 
and or French, select the appropriate from this, both English, French or neither. So I have chosen English. Have you taken test for designated testing agency to assess your English or French skill? I have chosen no here, save and come to the dependent section and here if you want to add, edit or remove a spouse or partner from your application, you must make the changes in your profile page. So once you click here, you will go to the initial profile page which I had shown at start. Now for the dependent, uh, this was filled already and it shows status as missing information. Click on edit. Here the personal detail, uh, some of them are already filled. See here with the dependent, the company, the principal applicant. Uh, earlier the response was yes. So it shows up here. Relationship is also pre-filled. Family name, given name and then this is something you will have to select. Have you ever used any other name? Here the response is no. In case there have been name, then you select yes and accordingly you answer UCI. I have left it blank and then physical characteristic. Again, fill in the detail. Here I'm showing you sex, eye color and heights in centimeter. The birth information is already pre-filled. What was entered earlier. Place of birth, you make an entry. Country of birth is a drop down. And uh, then you have citizenship detail. You select from the drop down. Country, I'm showing India. Citizenship, India. Country, India. And current country of residence also as India and status as citizen. In case there is any change, you go and select what is the most appropriate one for you. Okay. Then once you come down previous country of residence, the response is no. If it is yes, you'll have to make those entries in the marital and relationship status. This married gets selected or whichever is, you know, appropriate that you get selected then when the date of marriage was done make sure this entry matches with the date of marriage entry which was done earlier okay sometimes people make mistakes here so family name given name is entered have you previously been married or in common law relationship response is no you can choose whatever it is and come down country then the education details get filled okay as you see here i have field already. This is the drop down. Select from the drop down. Here I am showing current occupation for mother as housewife and intended occupation as. So once this is done, continue. And then the language details have been filled. The native language from the drop down. The language which is known in case both English and French are not known. Select neither. And then have you taken test from designated testing agency to assess English or French skill? Response as no. And then do you have a valid passport travel document? Get the response. Uh, choose the appropriate response. As I showed earlier when filling up for the father. And uh, in case it is yes, select yes. Enter all details. Passport. And then followed by national identity document. I will not show you both of this because it's a repetition. Just making sure that whatever document you have matches exactly same here. Now once all details are filled, you see it shows status as complete. So you can click complete and return to application. As you keep filling application and uh, keep submitting, your status will change like this. You see here we have completed this form, which is the general application form and it shows ready to submit. Now we have to fill remaining form. So let's go to the next one which is IMM 5406 additional family information. So this is again a mandatory for all program. Let's click here, edit. This form captures all the information related to your family, that is parents, children, spouse, siblings. And if you look at here, the principal applicant fill out the form for yourself and on behalf of any of your family member 18 years of age who are not already Canadian citizen or permanent resident. Okay, so except those who are Canadian citizen and permanent resident, all other details will have to be filled. How this is going to help tomorrow if any of your family member here they want to visit Canada and they say that my family is in Canada, it is a way of indicating that the information is already there in the system okay so there might be other things which i will not go much in detail and if this is not applicable okay this information is not applicable you just write so here i will show one of the form uh, getting filled the other one i will leave it as it is but in case you have details like this you'll have to fill both okay so 
just to make it short this video go to edit here i will show one of the form of getting filled the other one i will leave it as it is but in case you have details like this you have to fill both okay so just to make it little easy and short this video go to edit so this section a is for the parent section b is for children and section c is for sim in section a full name date of birth come down these are pre-filled and then country uh or territory of birth you have to enter i'm shown india here marital status right these are the options choose best option what think it is might get confused with married not physically present this is uh for people who are already there as pr in canada and they are getting their spouse to child in that case the spouse is not physically present with them so don't confuse with that um, i'm showing here marital status is married physically present that is Ushan kumar married to and same has been entered here also uh, but before that the address okay so the address is mentioned here matches with what was entered earlier at the start okay then in the relationship spouse common law partner or legal partner the full name date of birth is pre-filled country is entered title status entered uh, from the drop down and then email address if you want to enter the email address you can enter or you can leave it blank this is not mandatory as you can see and then the address is provided which matches with what was entered earlier now this is relationship mother okay here mother's name gets entered this is for kushan kumar's mother okay clear and then the date of birth year month and date format country is entered marital status in case sometimes parents are not surviving in case parents are no more then the option not applicable chosen or select one one of the email is not mandatory and in case it is deceased you have to give city or town country and date. here i have shown date of death and the date okay so same thing father okay the dates get entered date of birth country status email id is not there and then the address and date of so once this is done save and same goes for children enter the relationship daughter son whatever it is then the full name gets written date of birth gets written country marital status from the drop down and email address this is not mandatory then there address so once this is done you can add if you have more than one children for each one you will create this uh, add another form and keep adding there remember the name what comes here they are neither canadian citizen or canada pr so once this is done even same for sibling here you show brother sister whatever the relationship is and then fill the details okay so i'm not repeating this you can fill in it how it was filled earlier then save and continue now this will get filled for all the names what you see in this list and once that is done you complete and return to app now once you do that you see this section says ready to submit and the next section is in progress this imm 5669 this is very detailed application once we go in a lot of form it needs to be filled schedule a background and declaration so you have education membership in associations government positions criminal history military service and addresses so for this video i will not touch military service i'll make a separate entry for military service because again this is a very detailed detailed, detailed information and in case somebody has a military service they will ask not once twice three, three or four times repeatedly days on their military service so you have to prepare for that i will not be touching that in this video I make a separate video and link will be in the description or you can check this the website so let's so come here click edit see here this is prefilled your full name in native language is how to translate english name to your native language say if you are hindi speaking and write this script all you have to do is go to the trans so once you enter name here it will show you how it is in all you need to do is copy and click you see here this is how this script will get it is any other language come to google translate make sure you select that language and same way so you can get the name added. then birth information is already pre-filled here and detail of uh, father mother this is a reputation 
So I'm not entering anything here, but in case you have this information filled before, you will have to fill this directly. Straightforward, no mal, you know, issue doing this. So once this is done, save and continue. So the section B questionnaire is basically asking information to check if there is any issue that you bring when you come to Canada. Are you safe for Canada? If you have any of the answer as yes then it will invite further scrutiny so read this carefully have you been convicted of crime or offense in canada i'm choosing here as no you have to select correct response all here i'm electing so here it says being convicted of or any currently charged with trial for party to crime or offense or subject of any criminal proceeding in any other country or so answer is no in case the answer is yes then we'll be asked little detail to be explained below so uh, you'll have to choose in case you have any question uh, to the comment section i might guide you right person can give you further input on what so once you come down here again said no for refugee no for this uh, have you been refused admission uh canada or any other no being involved in act of genocide war crime the response is no you have any of this thing then you will feel know what's going to happen uh any armed struggle or violence to reach political religious or social objective so this is not related to military as i said military comes here okay so we are not at uh, for military part though so the response here is no being associated with group that uses or advocate armed struggle or violence no and uh, again here all i have is no in case there is any yes then this section will get utilized that that is done save and so for the education elementary is how many years that is entered secondary school how many years that is entered university or college that has to be mentioned so if it is bachelor's plus master's combined uh, years are written and whatever that is then if trade school or other post-secondary school there that also gets okay so i will not go into much detail for each of secondary or post-secondary in university college any training you have had you'll have this so whatever certificate is available same detail gets entered from the name of the institution city country type of certificate or diploma what is and field of study so here uh, all those details will come uh, remember no english credential detail has been asked just enter whatever details you have case case whatever detail you have and keep adding for each of the section make sure you add everything don't sell any of these so once that is done save and so this personal history section right this will uh, be for the last 10 years here read this carefully it has to be for last 10 years or since you're 18 so in this case you would see that this is for an elderly person so i'm showing accordingly but uh, make sure if different in your case for every single company which person has worked here, here i'm showing uh, almost 11, 11 years data where from 2012 to 2023 the activity is shown as retired and uh, city town country is city town country uh, shown as india status in country as citizen and name of the company employer in this case not happy in your case in last 10 years there is any work uh, or company that detail will come and everything has to be filled accordingly so make sure you do this entry properly without any mistake i'm not going to tell in this it's straightforward you have to enter in save and continue same with membership if any affiliation uh, is there with any organization that detail has to come if it is not there just leave it as it is and even same with government position see here it will have to be filled if individual has worked with so from and to it will have to be entered to which country or jurisdiction that detail has to be given to the detail what department and what way the so this is again to gauge you are safe for canada so whatever the detail is make sure fill that date here and then even as i said i will make a separate video for military and paramilitary service because this is again a very detailed information sharing session 
which uh, I would like to bring because here many people struggle. Government is still easy to get all details. With military and paramilitary service, if you uh, have been with military or paramilitary service, there are detailed information which is asked. So it is better that you prepare everything once and keep it so that you have, you know, only one communication makes uh, the work easy for the other person and one for you. You don't have to keep preparing this schedule again and again. So I will make a separate video for this. But just for you, you can see this here. It looks very basic, but there are no details which are asked, which it is better you prepare much in advance. Okay, so once that is done, save and continue and then the address part again we will not go much in detail into the address part because not make any mistake i usually make an excel sheet and make sure that i don't give any date gap address so that way i am ensuring that um, every single date gets uh, whatever address you have stayed in past 10 years okay that detail so it does not have to be exactly 10 years if it is going beyond 10 years and uh, you have stayed you can add that uh, as a safety cushion in the this will help it is 10 years or since your 18th birthday uh, do not use your box address part is again very simple be able to do everything you enter see here all these details are already so the date when this is with this date address also gets completed but in your case if it is more than one address make sure to add those addresses one after the other best way as i said i do is have an excel sheet because all these references you will require once everything start the process starts you need to have everything handy so once this is done save and continue and now you see we'll have to fill for the other person which i will avoid repetitive complete and to application so imm556 this is related to your travel so once you start here the tourism business training or any other reason and detail is required for any uh, any travel which is outside of your home country or where you live last 10 years or since your 18th birthday whichever is more recent okay so come down here and continue enter the applicant name you enter the principal applicant's uh, uh, name and uh, then not travel it have not travel just not travel and uh, everything taken care uh, if you have traveled then for each trip you have to get your passport and make sure the trees are made correctly when did it start year and month only when did it end the year and month what was the destination of that country, how long you were there and purpose of travel, business, leisure, so that detail you have to in, uh, in case you have traveled to multiple country, my suggestion is make an excel sheet, have a uh, columns created for from to destination, length and purpose of travel, fill that up and then come and fill the details. Okay. That way you will not make any mistake. I am a big fan of Excel sheet. All data I capture on. So um, once you fill trip detail, there is more than one, you can add in. Okay. For each of the applicant, you have to fill in detail in the section. Once that is done, here I have shown did not travel. Once that is done, save and continue. And for the spouse or common law partner, so for the spouse or common law partner, again, same details get filled. In case there is no travel, then you select did not travel. And if you have traveled, then you uncheck this box and fill all the detail of any visit you have under sure it matches with your passport because you will be submitting your passport as a valid document and all pages will be there. So make sure you make all the correct. Same thing for the children or dependent even who is near or older case you have declared you have to for them also okay so make sure correct here i am selecting did not travel okay and even once done not travel done happy now you see all the status here has changed to ready to submit and uh, in case you want to do any edit you can always come back and do the edit no issue at all want to delete this entirely you have an option to delete this entirely once you go to the profile page that is the first don't worry un until you have submitted the form all good you can edit you can delete whatever needs to be done any update which is to be done you can now again uh, the pdf form section uh, shows as required and here right once you download the form to you you will get this message uh, that's because you have opened either in chrome or safari so 
you don't have to worry about this all you have to do is just download once you open this with acrobat reader here as well so you will get this uh, application where you have to fill the details since the form and document what are required uh, uh, the list is too too many what i'll do is i'll make separate video for each of the form i will show you how the form is getting filled uh, my request to you is use this as an example and make it customized for the document what is required in your scenario okay these are just examples what i am giving based on what information is already available online so you see these forms um, are shown as required so i have uploaded this form i'll show how these getting filled for you to get some idea of how the document works then there are additional application form which you can go here and search from this drop down and whichever you think you will have to add you can just go and click and add that document okay so every document has a download once you click download you will get this kind of message don't worry once the download is complete just go right click and open in acrobat reader and that form will so there are supporting document section which are again required and uh, the document labeling right let me show you that uh, you have to do document labeling properly for the person who is going to look at this document for supporting document again it shows as required and uh, this has to be labeled in a specific way which is given here i'll show you how i have done the labeling and uh, how you can customize to acceptable file types which are given here pdf jpeg g and doc etc and then how to make this to the maximum file size which is acceptable to upload if you have anything more than 4 mb then it will not get uploaded so you will have to keep it less than 4 mb for each of the up so uh, that i will uh, show to you and how photo has to be of this pixel size minimum again that also i will show you each of the videos which i am going to make separate will be there in the description as link uh, also on the youtube channel you will be able to find that if not go and check website where i will leave the link for you to easily navigate and find the information so supporting document again these are document which are listed here which has to be uploaded whatever is applicable in your case and then you also have an additional supporting document section where once you click here have this long list of drop down okay so based on what is required for you you will have to go and select one by one uh, don't worry each of this in detail we in a video so that you can customize based on what is required for you so as you see from this drop down i selected this uh, certificate and clearance uh, it got added so let me just delete this if i type police see here you will see this load section here accordingly you can go and customize based on what is required here so this tag is is a supporting document it gives you feel some additional information is going to help with the pr application do it by all means the more information you give more clarity you give it helps the person on the other side go through the document and take so the entire list which i have shown here and i will show you how to upload which is very simple how to do the naming convention that also i will show you and then the next step is free payment okay and uh, for the free payment how for payment has to be done and the declaration which has to be done for form is submitted each of the document what you download will have a number like this and uh, that document once you open fill and save it becomes a digital copy which you can go and upload which i will show you and uh, for the supporting document you see here last name followed by first name and then what document it is just uh, i've given you few of the list here the list would be even more and that's why i said you can customize based on what document is required from your end and you can see the size you see here this is a these are all pdf and you will be able to see what size it is it has to be less than 4 all of this file is less than 4 mb for the supporting document again i'll make a video how to convert a word file into pdf or how to resize on the uh, ms paint any photo or any of the jpeg image you want to size how that is done i will show in a separate video you see here the attachments have been uploaded this is the upload section where you click 
and attach the file. Once you do that, the file comes and sits here. In case you want to delete the place, you have to click here and then you can visit. Okay. So you see here for the form, this is the field form. For this form, this is the field. Uh, again, for the additional application form, I have attached these form which I filled. And then once you come down for the recommended document labeling, you see here I had shown how this was done. Each of the document has an attachment been uploaded and the name also shows up along with type of document it is. PDF, those kind of. There is an additional supporting document section. Again, has been whatever is uploaded will show up here and if it is exceeding the permissible limit will not show up that is one way to know if documents have been uploaded or not as i said you can replace delete any of the file anytime if you don't want to attach a document you can just click here to delete if you want to replace a document delete here upload the new document the fee payment part which is again a required section once you click here pay your fee will be taken to this page and here just check these steps there are very simple steps which have been given what options you have credit or debit card then pay your fee you have two options to choose from go and can read this at your own time uh, option two is you're sure what you want just go on the drop down okay so make a selection get to see the list of fee to do the payment once you're done with the payment, you upload that proof of payment here. Once that upload is done, as you can see here, again with the correct naming convention, you come down here for the declaration where you click start and then fill the detail like I have shown here. Okay, so you fill the detail, the applicant's full name is written and then complete and return to application. So once all the section is filled, you see here and you come down, the last part is to submit your application and that's it.